Good evening guys. So back in the earlier part of the summer when I was doing the great all around Jeep Gladiator build videos, one of the things that I added to this truck was a set of cube lights. Now that's a pretty common mod. You see a lot of Jeeps with these lights. They're actually really handy. Uh, the reason that I put them on there is so that I can see deer mainly on the sides of the roads because out here in Kentucky we have a lot of white-tailed deer that hang out in the woods along the sides of the roadways and inevitably the little suckers will jump right out in front of you. Um, so these are really handy on the rural roads for lighting up the sides of the road giving you some better visibility but also if you're off-road on trails you know you can point these kind of like I have here off to the sides and you can use them for what people call ditch lights where you can basically see if there are any ditches or tree stumps or obstacles on the sides of your jeep you know so you can try to avoid running over that stuff or running into it so they're really really handy um, but what i did this time around was I, I bought these road shock branded lights from harbor freight because they were significantly less expensive and at the time i was using my rigid branded lights on my side by side so I didn't really want to take them off of there um, but since then I have sold the side by side so I took the rigid lights off and kept them and now I have the rigid lights free to be used so I thought it would be a good opportunity to compare the two I wanted to show you what an $85 set of cube lights looks like at night compared to a $200 set of cube lights you know are they equal do you get the same brightness? Do you get the same output from them if you spend less than half the money on something like this from Harbor Freight? So tonight, I'm going to hook up the rigid light and uh, I've got a 12 volt battery over here. I'm gonna hook those up too. And these obviously are still installed on the Jeep. So out here in the driveway, it's getting dark now. The sun's going down. I'm going to turn them both on here in just a little while when it gets a little darker than this and just compare side by side, apples to apples. I'll show you the expensive name brand rigid lights compared to the road shocks from Harbor Freight. So All right, starting to get dark out here. So I'm gonna give this a shot. This is the best that I can do. Now you, you can see that there's a little bit of light already being, being scattered out there. And that's because the halos on the headlights are on and I can't figure out how to get them to go off. I've got the headlight switch turned all the way off. I tried pulling the parking brake. I tried putting the truck in neutral and pulling the parking brake, um, like some guys on the forums said that you could do to get those to go off. I can't get them to go off no matter what I do. So there's a little bit of light out there right now from the halos, the DRLs. Can't do anything about it. All right, so you can see the Toyota Camry out to the corner of the Jeep. It's about 30 feet out. I'm going to start off here with the Road Shock branded lights from Harbor Freight. So there is the Road Shock light. You can see that it's pretty intense. Lights up the car really well. If I turn it back off again, of course the camera is going to auto focus for me, but you can see it's a pretty bright light. Okay, here is the rigid light shining on the car. Turn it off, turn it back on. All right, so let's do the Harbor Freight lights again. Turn them back off. There they are again. So I'm gonna turn those off and do the rigid light one more time. And hopefully you can kind of see that there are some differences and there are some similarities. So this rigid cube light is very intense. It has a nice flood pattern. The light seems to be a little bit more bluish, just a little bit more bluish on the color spectrum compared to the road shock lights but it's a very nice color it lights up a pretty good area i mean it's not like a super tight beam but it's not just throwing light everywhere either it's a really nice flood pattern you know it's doing a good job i can turn it here away from the car 
turn it back to the car you can see that it's got a pretty wide flood pattern but not too wide so again a really nice bright light and it seems to be just a little bit of a different color spectrum than the rigid light or excuse me the harbor freight lights now i don't know how the camera is going to pick up what i'm seeing with the naked eye but but to the naked eye this light is a little bit more yellowish just a little bit um, the beam pattern is slightly more focused there's a little bit more of a hot spot there in the center of the beam it still shines a wide you know field of light out there these particular lights have what they call side lights uh, they may actually have a marketing name to them i don't have the box with me but if you look at these online you'll see they've got a few diodes out on the side of the cube that are meant to shine out even farther to the side and enhance the width of the beam so I'll turn those back off again turn them back on so anyway, what I'm, what I'm noticing here is just the main difference is the color temperature is a little bit different and the beam pattern is just slightly different. The Harbor Freight lights have a little bit wider pattern. You can see a wider field of view with these compared to the rigid lights. I'm covering these back up and I'm gonna turn this rigid light back on. And you can see this one is a little bit narrower. You can actually see the edges of the beam pattern with this light and that's again that's the rigid light so so that's basically the difference um, is just a little bit of a beam pattern difference and a little bit of a color temperature difference but as far as brightness goes as far as your ability to see out you know into the darkness there really isn't much difference i mean looking at this rigid light right here which is about a hundred dollars per light i can't really see that much more um, you know of a difference in this compared to say the 40 dollars harbor freight light i mean i really can't one more time here there's the harbor freight light so you know the difference again is so minimal that you would almost be better off to go with these because let's say it fails on you you take it back to the harbor freight store and get a new one let's say you've had them for five years and then it fails so there is no warranty anymore well you just buy another set you know you can buy two sets of these for the price of one set of rigids you know so this is where the question of value comes in you know this this light right here as you can see is doing just as good of a job as that rigid light for a lot less money so i guess at that point it, the only thing you could talk about would be build quality it just comes down to which light is going to last the longest and like i just explained i don't see any reason why this light wouldn't last as long as the rigid light but even if it doesn't it doesn't matter because it's so much more inexpensive so there you go guys an apples to apple cool, apples to apples side by side comparison of the two lights uh, I know some guys on the forums have really been interested in uh, finding out more about the Harbor Freight lights. You know, this is a, a lighting is a topic that comes up a lot. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to just show you because as they say, a picture's worth a thousand words. So hopefully this video was informative. Hopefully it helps you out a little bit if you're shopping cube lighting and you're just kind of wondering because you see all these options out there. Some are 80 bucks, some are 200 bucks, some are 300 bucks, you know, and it's hard to tell, you know, is it really worth the extra money? Are you getting $200 more light if you buy the expensive set? Well, hopefully this will help you out and kind of show you uh, visually the difference. So as always guys, thank you for watching. And we will talk to you later.